Hi, welcome to Camlish.com. I'm teacher Emmy, and I'm going to be your teacher in learning the English language easily. The title of our book is Classroom English. This is a practical guide to teaching English through English. Okay, now our discussion will start on page 234. Okay, so on this page, we're already on lesson number 74. And the topic is checking answers for crossword puzzle. Okay. Now we have here the teacher's language. Starting with the first one. Let's start reading. Let's check the answers. Who can tell us what number three down is? Yes, it's banana. What is number five across? And how do you spell it? Okay, so those are some of uh, the things that the teacher might say. According to the topic, uh, when you're checking answers for a crossword puzzle activity, okay? So let's see that uh, in a dialogue form so we can better understand. So here goes the dialogue. Let's start reading again. After the students have finished the crossword puzzle, the teacher asked, Are you all finished? Students, yes. Teacher, let's check the answers. Who can tell us what number three down is? And then Gina raises her hand. Teacher said, yes, Gina. Gina said, banana. Okay, and teacher said, yes, it's banana. Right, everybody? Okay, now let us continue on to the next page. Okay, we have here the students answered right. And then teacher again. Good. Hey Yun, now what is number five across? And then Hey Yun said apple. Teacher, right, it's apple. How do you spell it? And then Hey Yun said A, P, P, L, and then E. Then after checking all the answers, the teacher finally said, That was fun, wasn't it? Okay, and then you can see here again the arrow the arrow here that is going down so it means it's a falling intonation kind of question okay so that was fun wasn't it okay so it's not going up so your intonation should go down all right so now we've finished reading the dialogue part let us now proceed to in learning the other expressions this time so we have here the first one the teacher said let's check the answers okay another way of saying that is let's see what everyone got or let's check to see what you got okay or let's look at the answers together okay so check see and then another check and look so they mean the same thing okay so that's what uh, the teacher is uh, trying to say in this first expression now let us go to number two which is a question and the question goes who can tell us what number three down is okay another way of saying that is what is number three down who knows what number three down is? Or what did you get for number three down? Another here is, what was your answer for number three down? And the last one, we have the question, who can tell me the answer for number three down? Okay, so those are some of the questions that a teacher can also use if uh, the teacher wants to know what number three down is. I mean, what's this, uh, the answer for that specific number, okay? Then we also have here number three. Yes, it's banana. Or it could also be said like this one. Yes, the answer is banana. Or, right, you should have banana, okay? And number four, let us go to the question, how do you spell it? You can also say that in a sentence form only. So it will go like this, spell the word. 
or if it's in another way of writing it in a question form, can you spell it? Or what's the spelling? How is apple spelled? How do you spell that? And how do you spell apple? Okay, so those are some questions and uh, sentences and how you can say number four expression in other ways, okay? So that's it for the other expressions. Now let us go on to the next page now. Alright, so on to this page, you can see here the Korean translation of the dialogue part. So you can check it out and read this if you did not understand some of the English translations a while ago. So that will be all for this video. Thank you for listening. Again, I'm Teacher Emmy. See you in our next video lesson. Goodbye.